Hello everybody and welcome to Black Phoenix Entertainment. Um, yeah, this thing's in pieces, so I am doing a clutch install, uninstall, stage two upgrade for trail performance. I've got it up to this point, so I'm gonna show you how to actually pull the clutch because there's only one other video that I've seen that does this, so I figured this is the part that you guys should see. Now, why didn't I show the rest of it? Because a lot of other people have done videos on taking panels apart, doing a clamshell, all of that. Uh, Riker Rides, uh, BLR Tuning have done stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you this. How we're going to pull this thing out. But before I do that, I gotta take the CVT belt off and stuff like that. And again, there's other videos to do that. So I'm going to get it up to the point where we're ready to pull the clutch out. All right, so I'm basically ready to pull the clutch. What you want to use a 7 8 socket. And what you almost absolutely need is this tool right here this clutch holder tool what this does is this will hold everything in place so it doesn't turn so you can break these bolts loose and spin them and do you know do what you need to do with the primary clutch so break it loose and um turn it and that doesn't once you pull that bolt out there's another step before it'll actually come out so and again i want to say this when i do every um install video and stuff like that i'm a small channel one time one man crew all that stuff I do what I can with these. Hopefully I show enough and I'll give you guys the bullet points and stuff like that where it helps somebody. So anyways, I'm gonna break this loose, pull that bolt out, and then I'm gonna show you what we need to actually do to get the clutch out. So what you need once you get that bolt out is from BLR tuning, the Canon primary clutch puller tool. You're gonna put this in and you're gonna tighten it up all the way and it's gonna, you're gonna hear like a click or a pop. That's when you're done and then you can pull the clutch unit out. All right, so that took a lot. I had to break a bar and everything on it to pop the clutch out and it popped. It's, it just like kind of like flew like right out at me as I was holding everything. If I had a second person that may have not happened as we were holding two different things, but I'm trying to hold, you know, I'm trying to hold that and that break a bar. So there it is, make a primary clutch. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to a local shop. They're going to install the Stage 2 kit from Trail Performance. They're going to get back to me. I'm going to throw this back in, uh, show you guys that process. I also have an upgraded bolt to go in there, and I got an upgraded belt, belt too. So, yeah, it's been a long day. All right, let's uh, fast forward time. All right, I'm back. Got the clutch back from the shop. Got the Stage 2 kit installed. Now we got to put the clutch back in with a little extra. This is your stock bolt that of course goes in there, goes in through here. This is the upgraded bolt. As you can see, <clears throat> there's definitely a little thickness difference there. Um, it was recommended just for the power levels and the upgraded clutch and the belt and everything else. While everything's apart, you might as well upgrade parts like that. Otherwise, who knows what'll happen. But So I'm gonna install this use that, you know, you know, grease all that, slide this on, and then use the clutch tool, which is this, to remind you. And that way I can uh, tighten everything up and put the belt back on and should be good to go. It's in. Now I just gotta put everything back together. Um, yeah, I got a stage two clutch from Trail Performance. So again, just doing step by step uh, on this. So it is definitely an advanced job. I think some people might say, oh no, it's not that bad. No, you've got to be more than mechanically inclined to do this. You definitely, and you got to have the right tools and all, all that stuff. So definitely um, do it with someone who's done it before or more mechanically inclined and learn it. It's definitely easy enough to learn. This is very time consuming and you know, obviously, you gotta make sure you put the belt on right, bolts, all that stuff, but anyways, this is really cool. I'm really excited to put this thing back together and do a test ride, and a test ride is gonna be a different video. I'm gonna do a comparison, and I'm just gonna do a whole separate video on just the test ride, so if you like what I'm doing, go down there, do the like and subscribing, all the fun YouTube stuff. I got stuff in my description down there, so I got stuff in BLR tuning, and back with Ironside Customs, which I know to steal. She does custom badges, so go and check that out. If you have a badge, no matter what you have, she'll probably be able to make a custom badge for it, so check that out. And um, thanks for rocking with the flock.